It seems to be the issue defining this year's session. How state senators will act on a plan put forward by Governor Jim Pillen to cut property tax bills by 40%. 1011's John Grinvald was at a revenue committee hearing today where lawmakers mold a bill that would put some of the burden onto sales taxes. Pick any street in Lincoln or any town in Nebraska and you'll notice rising property valuations, which leads to ballooning property tax bills. So some lawmakers want to shift at least part of the burden onto these receipts as more sales taxes when you or I check out for goods and services. It's a tall order on a major issue to fill the government's coffers when Governor Jim Pillen wants to cut $2 billion in property taxes. But State Senator Luann Linehan's bill to hike sales taxes by 1% would bring in about $500 million. It's a shift to a tax you can or cannot pay, depending on your spending habits, to a tax you have to pay or they take your house away. It wouldn't include grocery items like food, but it would cover things people use every day. These are diapers. This is clothing, goods and services that people have to have to purchase in order to survive. Opponents say the biggest effects would trickle all the way down, hitting the state's poorest the hardest. The impact hits heaviest on low income working Nebraskans and seniors, for example. So if we need to ensure ongoing tax equity for um, those who most need a break, uh, this would be the wrong way to move. Others oppose it because they say it could negatively impact the economy. But Linehan says she's open to bringing down the 1% hike as the committee deliberates. She says this bill must go hand in hand with spending cap bills. Well, I'm not going to continue to pour water money into a bucket with a big hole in the bottom. We've got to have some help from the other taxing entities. Reporting in Lincoln. John Grinvalds, 1011 News.